During this episode at Yosemite National Park, we're exploring Glacier Point and Taft Point, and we're gonna check out the views and get some amazing shots. We're headed to Yosemite National Park. And during this episode, we're gonna get started at Glacier Point. Glacier Point is easily accessible by road and is a really short walk from the parking lot. Once we come over this little hill, we start to see this spectacular view of Half Dome, which is clearly the star of this view from Glacier Point. I'm on a trip with two of my brother-in-laws, Bill and Matt. And as we're walking up, we see this rock formation that stands out. It just looks like an awesome place to take a photo. Plus, this is where I shot that intro segment to this video. I love this shot because it looks like Matt is standing on a rock above a cliff, but the reality is there's a sidewalk 10 feet below him. As you look at this shot, let me go back to the Google Earth view and give you some perspective to show just how high Glacier Point is in relation to Yosemite Valley. Glacier Point stands at 7,200 feet, which is 3,200 feet above the valley floor. All right, time to walk around and get a few shots of this awesome view. Half Dome is definitely the centerpiece of this view, but as I'll share with you, Half Dome will play a huge part in our adventure that we're gonna be headed on for our backtracking trip here at Yosemite. We're here at Yosemite in mid-June, so we're fortunate that the waterfalls are still flowing strong, which will make the scenery that much better, as if it can get any better. Here's the postcard shot of the view from Glacier Point. What makes this photo even more special to us is that it shows exactly where we're going to be headed at the end of the day as we head out for a four-night backpacking trip in the backcountry of Yosemite. We're gonna be starting out way back here, which is near Tuolumne Meadows, and along the way, our goal is to summit Half Dome, and then finish by exiting past Nevada Falls and Vernal Falls en route to the valley floor. In total, we should hike about 30 miles, and this view puts it all into perspective for us. But before we think about backpacking, We've got a few more shots to take here at Glacier Point. I thought I'd set up the tripod for a little tripod selfie action of the three of us. I just set the camera for a timer release and then got in position for the shot. Now that we've seen Glacier Point, we're gonna head over to Taft Point, which is another awesome location and is only a short drive back down the road from Glacier Point. Now for this, you do have to hike more to get to Taft Point than you did for Glacier Point, as the hike out to Taft Point is probably about a mile long, but it is worth it. The big difference between Glacier Point and Taft Point is that at Taft Point, there are no railings you literally can stand at the edge of the cliff, so use caution, and I probably wouldn't bring my young kids here. All right, we're at Taft Point, and this is as close to the edge as you can get. Don't have fear of heights, but if you can get to the edge, you can get some great shots. Just make sure you have your balance down. Uh, but this is an incredible view. El Capitan over here, and the cliff right there this is a great spot Woo. now as if the cliffs and the views weren't enough we came across something even crazier some guys had set up a slack line across one of the cliffs and they were walking across it this was so incredible to watch and to photograph
Now the good news was that they were tethered down to the line, so when he falls, he doesn't fall all the way to the valley floor. But still, this was crazy. All right, now it's time to set up the tripod again, and this time we're gonna test our limits in getting close to the edge. Bill gets us started by seeing how close he can get. All right, that's close enough. Matt's up next. All right, my turn. Nothing like grabbing a seat 3,000 feet high up on the side of a cliff. This is absolutely incredible. After that, Bill decides to answer the age-old question. Just because your friend sits on the side of a cliff, do you think you need to do the same? The answer to that, yes. Now as we drive out, we make one quick stop for a shot of the most famous view at Yosemite, Tunnel View. There's Half Dome in the background, which gets us fired up for our journey ahead to try to summit it at the end of our four day backpacking journey that is to come. Thanks for watching this video. Check out photographytv.com to see more and check out the videos of Yosemite National Park.